Hello and welcome to our show Wireless News. I'm Roberta Prescott and today I'm joined by Jonathan Gordon, Director of Marketing at Allot Communication. The company recently announced it has secured a $6.5 million order for a tier 1 mobile operator in EMEA for intelligent steering and value-added service license. Gordon, could you start by telling us uh, what intelligent steering is? Sure, Roberta. So uh, the deal that we announced was actually around licensing for, for steering uh, traffic, uh, customer traffic to, to uh, value-added services. In this case, the steering component is, first of all, um, a component that identifies a type of traffic. So what type of application? Is it voice? Is it video? Um, it is a traffic that belongs to a particular subscriber. So all of this analysis is done beforehand and then based on certain criteria um, it is redirected or steered to a particular location or particular service. So a, a great example is like video. So if we have a premium video service um, the subscriber that subscribed to that service, uh, we need to recognize who the subscriber is, we need to recognize that it's video, and once we've done all that analysis, we decide to take an action to steer that particular traffic towards the video optimization service. And uh, this order is a licensing expansion of an existing Allo service gateway deployment. Uh, could you give any further details such as what the expansion order will allow the operator to do? Yes, so uh, in this case, the, the, the um, operator is, is a multi-country operator um, that's worked with a lot for a number of years. Um, and this expansion expands on the capabilities of the existing service gateway. The service gateway is built to essentially do all of this analysis. Um, and depending on the use case and the requirements of the service provider, different services can be added and attached to that. In this particular case, um, services such as parental control um, were, were, were key to the deployment and the addition to on, on top of the existing services. So in this particular case, the operator can now offer parental control, which means that their customers can sign up for filtering to make sure that uh, their children or, or, or other family members or colleagues don't uh, um, look at particular harmful t types of images or traffic. And in, in this particular case, again, we use that analysis to look at the traffic and, and look at who the subscriber is. And then we put all that together and decide for that particular person who's subscribed to, to that filtering package, we redirect their traffic to that particular value-added service. There are also a number of different value-added services that that operator already has as well. Um, again, it's, it, the platform inside the network enables you to expand as, as, as the need and the growth continues. How, and around the, the globe, uh, how operators can better capitali capitalize on network traffic? What have you seen uh, regarding this subject? Yes, yeah, so that, that's a pretty hot topic uh, today. Uh, most operators around the world understand the need to optimize and, and deliver uh, um, the traffic uh, and 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 um, they've woken up to the realization they actually have to capitalize much more on the existing traffic. So parental control is a great example of a service that capitalizes on existing traffic. You're not putting more traffic on the network to offer that service. Um, so it's a really great example. Um, optimization of video or video caching, that type of thing, is also a great, great example because on one hand you can optimize and squeeze down the actual amount of traffic that's on the network, so freeing up a capacity to be used by other services, and then you can also charge a premium for those that want that type of thing. If they want a much better premium type of experience, again, not everyone will pay for it, but there are all of these different types of niches that, that are available. And so many different operators in different markings, markets are looking towards what their customers are interested to pay for in terms of quality rather than just content. It's not just about having the content, but you need to get the right access to that, to that content to make the experience worthwhile. So those are the types of things that operators are, are looking to do, and, and by that way, adding value to what they provide their customers. And uh, in what stage do you think carriers are today on adopting these uh, telecom analytics tools to 
uh, looking how uh, their network traffic behavior. Uh, where do you think carriers are today, and what are the perspectives for over the next uh, year? Um, well, again, this is this is part of our offering uh, analytics, uh, in particular on mobile and, and fixed internet uh, service providers. Um, it, it, it's a huge part today of what we do uh, on the on the analysis side. So you need to collect as much information as you can to make a, a correct decision. Um, analytics has been around for a long time, but the key to what we're seeing operators request today is analytics that's actionable in real time. Um, they need to be able to make decisions in real time and affect the network traffic and affect the ex customer experience in real time. So, for example, if we roll back to that concept of um, a video or parental control, the concept is to put all of these variables together, look at who the customer is, where they are on the network, possibly is the network congested, is it is it open and free, what type of traffic, who else is on the network at the same time. There are lots and lots of different types of an analytical variables that they can collect and make decisions in real time on the network, have the network respond to network conditions, to, to who's on that piece of the network, uh, respond to the types of traffic and applications that they're trying to use. So it's only good if you can use it and, and really use it in real time to affect the experience. Otherwise, it's a bunch of numbers that you can put in a, um, in, in a server somewhere and analyze them later. Um, in fact, I've had these discussions with, with CTOs of, of major operators or, uh, around the world, and you know, up until now, they've had teams of, of, of people sifting through analytics that sometimes can take them three months to get through a, a week's worth of data. So the key here is what they're looking for is real time. Uh, today's internet experience, especially the mobile experiences, is, is in real time. It's on the go, and you need to affect that experience in real time by using those analytics. And the big difference to be real time today is that this is what differentiated telecom analytics today for uh, adopting a BI or other intelligent tool that just to look at the past. Um, uh, do you think carriers in all markets are adopting it, or we, can we say, for example, that in a more mature or with high penetration uh, mobile users, they tend to adopt it more than? Um, in a, in developed market, um, I think it's it's a good question. The the issue is um, there are different horses for courses here. So, for example, you have the issue that in emerging markets, um, they can actually utilize this a lot better. They can actually turn on uh, um, the analytics and turn it into revenue generating services because there's a there's a lot more ability to move quicker. Um, sometimes less regulation, sometimes less well-developed markets, so they can offer these things quicker. Sometimes in the mature markets, it's the opposite. It's regulation, uh, things like net neutrality that may slow down some of these, uh, uh, um, turning analytics into, into revenue, for example. Um, my gut feeling combined with what I know is going on in our side of the business is uh, lots and lots of operators are delving into the analytics. Um, not all of them have turned it into revenue generating or other types of services yet, um, but there's definitely a, a um, lots of momentum and a huge amount of interest and a huge amount of, of investment, I think, already going into the analytics. Some of our customers, for example, you, you've seen in that press list, are already uh, moving towards turning those analytics into dollars. Um, and there are other examples of that as well. Uh, I know the Telefonica announced, uh, I think, a, a few months ago that they were also looking to um, resell or, or, or um, uh, provide their analytics data to over the top players or external systems. So there are lots of different go-to-market strategies. I don't think one is the clear winner yet, but there is definite um, momentum and investment behind the whole analytics area in, 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 uh, in operators. Great, I agree. So I'd like to thank you a lot for this interview. A pleasure. Thank you for having us. Today I talk with All Out Communications' Jonathan Gordon. I'm Roberta Prescott. Follow us at rcellwireless.com.